All right, guys, here we go. Just come and do a coyote set. I'm on a pretty bad dry spell here. I uh, haven't had a lot of spots to hunt with all the corn growing and the beans. I mean, I'm pretty limited right now, very few spots. Hunting the same spots over and over, kind of wearing them out and just not having much luck. <clears throat> haven't been going as much either just because I don't have high hopes on any of these spots, but <clears throat> I'm in a spot here that I've only hunted one time. So I don't know what to expect. We could call up a coyote here, but I'm in the wide open as you can tell. I have no no cover whatsoever. I'm in a pasture. <clears throat> there are some bushes and a few lone trees, so hopefully I look like a bush. Uh, we're gonna start out with some holes here and see if we can't get something to show up. I can see a long ways, so I should be able to see them coming. Might be some fire shooting too, so here we go. Got coyotes going crazy just across the field about 500 yards away. They should be within calling distance. A lot of times in the summer like this, if you hear them too far away, they just don't like to come for some reason, but I think they're within, within range here tonight, so we'll see. Coyote came out of nowhere. I can literally see for 500 yards in about every every direction. And I look down in front of me at 130 yard. Well, 130 yards. I I first seen him. He must have snuck up. There's a fence line out in front of me here. And he must have came tight, real tight against that fence line and crossed because I did not see him anywhere. Real pretty coyote, real light colored. Beautiful coyote. Man, my heart was just a pounding on that one. Once you haven't called a coyote in for a couple, couple weeks, it's like he's never done it and she gets you all jittered up again. Wow. Well, let's go take a look at it. Well, here she is. Looks like to be a female. Yep. Looks like a female. 
like she might have been nursing at one point or another, but she's definitely all pups are probably pretty big now. I barely, just barely clipped her. No idea how the hell I even got her. The bullet hole is basically in the top of her back here. But uh, she's a real pretty light colored coyote here. Took about 20, 25 minutes probably to call her in. I actually got, if it's the same one, I got her and another one to light up. I would imagine a male and a female. And uh, they lit up to my serenade hole. And uh, I sat there and playing pup distress, playing all kinds of noises, and I didn't have nothing. I thought it was game over. I didn't think I was gonna get anything. And next thing you know, come right through the bottom here of this pasture ground. And, she was right there. I don't know how I didn't see her coming in, but so I didn't really get any footage of her coming in. All of a sudden she was just there, but coyote down anyways. I don't remember if this is 38 or 39, but count goes up one more coyote. It's been a long time coming. I haven't been hunting near as much due to the egg fields growing up and limited spots to go, but where I have been going, I haven't been calling up many coyotes, so feels good to finally put one down. Well, thanks for watching, guys.